Thanks for watching the On My Workbench channel. I had to design, build, and install a new pre-filter for the well pump. The water flow from our well pump was getting a little slow, so I thought it was time we pulled the pump to take a look at the filter to see if it was getting clogged, and it was. The pump has an intake port that's only three quarters of an inch high. The port runs a full 9.6 inches of the pump circumference. This only provides 7.2 square inches of intake area. I had installed a nylon filter sock over the pump to catch any particulates so they would not be sucked into the pump. But with only 7.2 square inches of filter area, this would work well for about six months. Then we would have to pull the pump from the well and clean the filter. If I could design a filter with more surface area that would fit directly over the pump, and was easy to install, it should extend the filter cleaning interval. My thought was to use a piece of 4 inch PVC drain pipe as the body of the filter. The pump has an outside diameter of 3 inches and 4 inch PVC drain pipe has an inside diameter of 4 inches. This leaves a half inch gap between the pump and the pipe. Now how do I keep a 3 inch pump centered in a 4 inch pipe? I found that a 3 inch PVC coupling has an outside diameter of 4 inches and will fit nicely inside 4 inch PVC drain pipe. Some 3 inch PVC couplers have an inside lip at the center of the coupler. This lip is to prevent the 3 inch pipe from going too deep into the coupler. I use this lip as a stop at the top of the pump to keep the coupling from going too far over the pump and covering the pump's intake port. I did this by cutting the coupling off one quarter inch past the lip. I use my table saw to cut the coupler. I used a one foot link of 3 inch pipe in between two 3 inch couplers to keep it level and to keep the cut straight and give me a safe way to hold it while I was cutting the coupler. Our pump had the poly pipe, power and control wires connected so rather than disconnecting them I cut a thin vertical slit in the side of the coupler. This allowed it to open enough to slip over the poly pipe and wires. I then put the 4 inch pipe over the pump and put the top coupling inside the 4 inch pipe. Then I slip the pump into the top coupling. Next I slip the bottom coupling inside the 4 inch pipe until it was over the bottom end of the pump. Now I had the couplings inside the 4 inch PVC pipe and the pump inside the couplings. The pump is held in place by the lips of the couplings and can't move. Next I removed the pump from the 4 inch pipe and marked the pipe with a grid pattern. I used this grid to drill a series of pilot holes around the pipe. The outside circumference of a 4 inch pipe is 14.5 inches. I divided it by the number of holes that I wanted. 14.5 divided by 8 equals 1.8 inches on center, minus the 1.36 inch for the largest diameter holes. This provides a space of 0.45 inches between the holes. Next I put a mark on the 4 inch pipe every 1.8 inches. Then I used a carpenter square to draw the vertical lines on the 4 inch pipe. This worked out to be space for 8 1.36 inch diameter holes with 0.45 inch space in between the holes or 1.8 inch on center but I only used 4 of the 3.6 inch holes per row. I measured 3.8 inches down from the top of the 4 inch pipe and used the carpenter square to draw a horizontal line around the pipe. 
This line was used as a do not drill above this line reference point. I did not want to have any of the new filter holes directly over the pump's intake port, so I offset the new holes lower. I drilled mid-size one and a quarter inch holes in between the 1.36 inch holes, and then smaller half inch holes in between the mid-size holes. I wanted as many holes as I could get for as much filter surface area as possible. I have now gone from 7.2 square inches of filter surface area to around 63.75 inches of filter surface area. My measurements are not 100% but they came out close enough to work. Next I reinstalled the 4 inch pipe over the pump and slipped the top spacer in over the top of the pump. Then I slipped the bottom spacer in and slid it over the bottom of the pump. I put a small dab of PVC glue on one side of the top and bottom couplers and the 4 inch pipe. So if I ever had to take it apart again, I could. Next I installed a new nylon filter sock and secured it in place with zip ties and covered the zip ties with black electrical tape. Then I installed a second filter sock over the first one and secured it in place with zip ties and tape. How well does the new filter work? Here's a side-by-side -side before and after photo of water samples. Please check back for more videos from the On My Workbench channel. Please subscribe, like, comment, and click the bell. And thanks for watching.